Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas and welcome back to my channel. So in this candle making tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own embeds to add into your candles, just like these little cactuses. So for this candle, you're just going to need a few items to get started. You're going to need whatever vessel you're going to be using. Um, you want to look for something that's got quite a wide mouth to it because we are going to be adding items in. And if you use something too narrow, narrow, it's going to make it harder on yourself. I'm going for a cactus theme today. Uh, so for my inbeds, I'm going to be using some cactus silicon molds. I've got three different styles. Um, you can find these all on my Amazon store if you want to get them after you watch this tutorial. Um, you're also going to need wicks. So I've got two different types. I've got a wood wick and I've got a cotton wick. I'm going to show you two different methods to creating this candle using both of those. Some wick stickers, whatever essence or fragrance that you want. And I've also got some green candle dye. I've got this lime green color from candle wax dyes. And then I've also got this green um, dye chips as well. Just because I'm going to be doing um, three different kind of cactuses so I thought it would be cool to have them like slightly different shades of green um, but it's up to you. You could also take this sort of method and change your silicon mold so instead of doing cactuses you could do like fish and make them look like they're swimming. Um, you could also do flowers, you could do like sweets, you can really do whatever you want with this technique. So while my wax is melting, I'm going to get my containers ready. So I've just given these a clean out with some alcohol spray, making sure that they're ready to be um, used. And for my wood wick one, I'm just going to be adding my wood wick into the center. I have got this little wick clip. I'm going to be adding it to the bottom. Because these are quite wide open containers, it is really easy just to place smack down in the center. If you are using a smaller container, um, it is a little bit harder to center it. And then I'm just going to be clipping in my wood wick into the center. Now for this container, because I am going to be using um, some cotton wicks and because it is quite wide for me to get an even melt pour, basically what a melt pour is that your candle melts the whole way across and melts down at the same time. Um, if you don't have enough heat, um, what you'll find is because you don't have enough heat, your wax isn't going to melt evenly. So you'll find that you'll get tunneling where it will burn down through the center where the wick is, but the wax on the outside won't melt at the same time. And generally that is caused because you don't have a wick that is suitable for the size of your container. So because this is quite a large size container, I'm going to be using two wicks so that way I get an even melt pour. So all I'm going to be doing is getting my sticky dots my little uh, wick stickers and you'll see that they come double sided so basically they're just they're double sided and then you just take that part off when you're ready to stick them into place so if you do have trouble um, getting your wicks center because you're trying to stick your hands down a little straw like this is super helpful because all you need to do is then you've got control, you don't have any floppy wicks stopping you from getting it center. These two are going to go off center because obviously I'm adding two into place. I'm not going to stick them directly in the center. Just like that. So, and then what you can do if you are worried that they're going to flop around is you can add some little wick clips into place. So these are just paddle pop sticks, but it's just going to mean that when I do add the wax in that they're going to stand upright and they're not going to move around. So now I'm all ready and set up to go. I've just got to wait for my wax to get to the correct temperature before I add my essence in and pour out the first lot of candles. So I've just taken my wax off the heat and with wax you want to make sure you get it up to the correct temperature. So there's a melting temperature and then there's a pouring temperature. So if you're unsure, generally all your wax will say which one it is. Um, so this wax does come from the US, so these will be in um, the US temperature. Uh, so for this wax it says I need to heat it up to 180 
um, and add color in then and then it says let it cool and pour it at the 150 um, so you just need to convert that depending on uh, what area of the world you're in um, but all waxes should have a label on the front when you purchase it saying like what temperature it needs to get up to and what temperature it needs to be poured so you want to get it up to a certain certain temperature so it fully melts all of that wax and then you want to get it down to a certain temperature to pour it. If you pour it too hot it can create like divots, when the wax cools it can contract from the jar, you can get like little sinkholes, um, you can accidentally burn off all of your fragrance because if the wax is really hot what happens when the wax is hot is it starts to burn that fragrance off the same way as when you light your candle it burns that fragrance off so you want to make sure you get it down to the correct temperature before you add your fragrance in and before you pour it now for this particular one i am going to be adding in my full container of essence um, just because it's the correct amount of wax for essence you want to go around five to ten percent it does depend on your wax and it once again should say when you buy that wax how much mils or how many um, percentage it's going to need of that fragrance to wax ratio. And then I just want to stir for about two to three minutes. I'm just making sure all of my fragrance has combined throughout the whole um, amount of my wax. With these candles, you don't want to be pouring the wax the whole way up to the top of the container because we are going to be adding in our like little cactuses. So you want to make sure you've got enough room. The cactuses will probably poke out a tiny amount of this container, um, but you don't want to pour up the full way because otherwise you're going to have your cactuses poking up quite high above your wick. I've just got my soy pillar wax all melted down and at the correct temperature to add my color in. I'm just going to start off by adding in some of this green dye chips and I'm going to give that a good mix. You can add your dye chips in at any point um, throughout the process but you need to make sure that the wax is hot enough to melt these dye chips the whole way through. So I've got my wax all melted down and if you're unsure about the colour um, you can always place a little bit on a white surface and then whatever color it turns to is the color it's going to set. So this one is quite light at the moment. So I'm going to pour one really light and then I'm going to add some more dye and make it a bit deeper. So that way all my cactuses are like different colors. So now that I've done one, I'm just going to darken the color and add some more green into my wax. I'm just going to use a little peeler and just shave just enough to make it like the next shade darker. And now that I've just added some more green in, I'm going to pour my last two cactuses or cacti. So I've just done my candle, I've just cut the wick off and this is fully set and I'm going to be placing my cactuses like over the wick and the way that you want to do it and I've just did these, you want to get them when they're still in their mold and the wax hasn't fully solidified. So by adding your skewer down there, it lets you create that hole which is going to allow the wick to go through but it also means that the wax isn't going to like go over the top of that hole as soon as you pull the skewer out. You also don't want to do it um, when you've taken it out because you're going to break it because the wax is going to become brittle once it's dry. But right now it's still that little bit softness to it. So it's the perfect time to just place your skewer down like that and create your little holes so that way you can place it over the top of your wick. Just have to be really careful at this stage pulling your item out because obviously you don't want to break it. And just like that we've got one of our cactuses and you just want to repeat this as many times as you need to um, to get enough cactuses for the design you're going for. So we've got the two different types of our cactuses. So we've got the ones that we've already put holes in, which means that they can go straight down the wicks if you want to do that style. But if you just want to add some embeds in and you want to use like maybe a wood wick like I am, I'm going to show you how you can place these around the wick. 
So the easiest way to do this is just to get a heat gun, add a little bit of heat and then pop these on and that's going to lock them into place. Perfect, so you don't want to make it fully liquid again, you just want to have enough liquid that you can place these on and it's going to glue themselves together. So that is the first way that you can do it and isn't it just so cute? Now the second way is, I'll move these around. So I'm going to add a tiny bit of heat just so they do lock into place the same way and then we're going to pop these down through the center. So you've got your holes and all you need to do is just pop them down through the wick. You want to make sure that your hole is big enough that it will fit through nicely. So I think this one is a little bit blocked. So I'll just get my skewer again and just gently place it over. Pull it through like that. Might also add one of these just off to the side. Might add a little bit of heat just so that one will adhere. The two different ways that you can do that in bed. I'm doing a cactus theme, but obviously you could do whatever theme you like. Um, I think they're really cute. I could even um, do a little silicon flower mold and do some cactus flowers if I wanted to add some other colors into this. But I think it looks really great just how it is. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, how to do inlays into your candles. It's a little bit more of a trickier technique. And obviously, as I said before, you could do whatever you wanted to do. There's so many different like silicon molds out there that you can get to create all different sort of um, themes to it. I really like the ca um, cactuses. I think they're super cute. And so you can either do it where you add it around the wick. So a wood wick is really pretty. Or you can do it where you put um, the cactuses or whatever you want to do up through. The wick is another cool idea. It just it kind of depends on your design and what you want to achieve. Um, but if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you're new to my channel, um, don't forget to subscribe as I post new videos every single week. All to do with candle making, alcohol, inks, and resin art are like the main topics I like to cover. Um, and let me know what your thoughts are on this particular candle in the description box below. And all my supplies that I've gotten will be in my Amazon store. So if you want to check those out for where I got all my molds, uh, feel free to do so. But thank you guys so much for watching.